Welcome back now to Saturday Sports Special. Now, as spectators, coaches, and athletes focused on the action at the Gibson McCook Relays, a somber move filled the air at the National Stadium as the loss of legendary track and field analyst, author, and commentator Hubert Lawrence occurred last night. Brother, mentor, friend. Hubert Lawrence was that and so much more. Many a track and field fan would have been expecting to wake up to the voice of the venerable Hubert Lawrence covering Saturday's Gibson McCook relays, but were instead greeted by the sad news of his passing. His firm grasp on the statistics and the intricacies of the sport captivated audiences, and his kind spirit endeared him to his many admirers. Lawrence's colleagues who were preparing for him to join them on Saturday were full of emotion when speaking with TVJ Sports at the Gibson McCook relays. Before being analysts, before being anything else, we were track and field friends. And we go to track meets and sit down in the stadium and watch track meets together and have a good time together. And this is something we do every Saturday from the first weekend in January until the local track season ends. So the analytic part came much later in life. We've been friends for years. Well, first, he was just one of the best analysts in track and field in the world, in my opinion. He was very humble. And even though he kind of knew that we rated him, he never ever pretended or, or behaved as if he knew more than us. He knew that he had a role to play, and he played it brilliantly, but very humble, very, very nice person. And um, boy, Kian, this, this one really rough for me. I started covering truck and field in 2015 when I came back to Jamaica. He worked to always take me under his wing. He brought me to the National Library to teach me how to do analysis, teach me how to do track and field coverage. It's tough for me because he meant so much to me. He meant so much to all of us. I'll do my best to honor his memory because he's always told me the key to being a great analyst is knowing the people that you're analyzing and doing the research. The last time I worked with him was by JC. And yeah, he was just in his element. We're going to we're going to really miss this brother because this brother has so much history. Track referee Dennis May officiated many a track meet alongside Lawrence. He was an, an incredible human being. Service, giving of himself totally to the cause. A, such knowledge and freely given. He was the one who wrote all the citations for the Olympians at the Jamalco meet that we, that we, every year, and he was the one who read it. This year was the first that he wrote it and he could not make it to read it. I suspect maybe he was not well. When we had many instances where we went to visit other athletes and people forgotten, he, I remember we went to visit Seymour Newman all the way up in Kabla and he said, party, let's go there. We had a friend, a fallen athlete who was, things were difficult. He said, let us go and visit. And that, that tells you the type of person that he was. J3A's president, Garth Gale, gave the perspective of the sport's local governing body. Well, he surely missed. That would be very um, obvious. You know, as you move around the stadium, you know, in the, the regular places that he would have, you know, um, be seen talking to, to different people. Um, you know, you see the somberness. People are very, you know, sad. Um, our students of his alma mater also, I've, I've shown their, you know, how sad they are of his passing. So for us, you know, it, we have lost an icon. And the Deputy CEO Broadcast Services and Content at the RJR Gleaner Group, Dr. Claire Grant, remembered Lawrence fondly. Hubert has been a part of us, especially on this journey for sports. We have really focused on track and field. The development of our coverage is directly connected to our analysts and commentators and he definitely was among the strongest and, and I think one of the things people don't even recognize um, way back in the day there was a time when all we heard was American or British analysts of our track and field and back in the time of CMC when they first um, got the rights Hubert was one of the pioneers of telling our story through our voices for the region. And he has just continued to build and build on that. And we are, as a group, blessed to have had him as a part of our team. It's very difficult, I mean, knowing what we heard last night and that we had this morning to come and do this without him. It was 
evidence of the void that we, we, we feel it. We feel it not being here. Since his involvement in track and field, Lawrence, who was a columnist with the Jamaica Gleaner, wrote and co-authored three books to include Champs 100 in 2010, The Power and the Glory, Jamaica in World Athletics from World War II to the Diamond League era in 2012, as well as 50 Days of Fire in 2022. Among those reacting to Lawrence's passing were Prime Minister Andrew Holness, saying he was deeply saddened by his passing, adding that his contributions to the nation's landscape were invaluable. Sports Minister Olivia Grange called Lawrence a guru, saying he was easily among the best authorities on the sport in the world. Eight-time Olympic champion Usain Bolt also posted a message to his Instagram story, which simply read Hubert Lawrence with a praying and dove emoji. Lawrence was 63 years old. And all of us here at the RGR Gleaner Communications Group express our condolences to the friends and the family of Hubert Lawrence.